What do CAD aspirants look for after writing the CAD exam? It's the score, what is percentile calculator, and that is what we have come up with this uh, time. And uh, how have we made this tool? So we have involved a lot of statistical formula and everything, and we have also invited students to send in their scores to us, whatever they feel is right. Uh, of course, we don't yet have the, uh, the response sheet, but whatever they feel is right, based on that, we have kind of developed this calculator, and I will show you that. So. Based on our um, perception, we have made this sheet for slot 1. Like you can see here, 19.5 can be obtained at 97 overall score. And so on for all the percentiles, we have different scores and sectionals as well. In VR, CLR, DI, one based on like um, <clears throat> whatever we have kind of uh, our intuition. And if you look at slot 2, you can change this slot 2. So this is what the slot 2 is all about. Because uh, our students and our uh, faculty members also meant to write CAD. And that is how we have come to this conclusion, slot 3 as well. So you just check based on what your slot is. Apart from that, the data that we have obtained from the students based on that we have developed a calculator which looks like this. So here you can see, uh, if I, okay, this is slot 1. I am in slot 1 and let me check top 1% students. So top 1% students, if you see here for slot 1, uh, they scored around close to 120. For slot 2, close to 110. And same with slot 3. So bigger bars just easier slot of course because top one percent if you get the higher score that means the slot is easier comparatively. <clears throat> okay. Also based on that, if you see this 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 part the line curve. So here yellow one denotes the slot one, blue denotes slot two, and uh, green denotes slot three. So here you can see ninety two hundred. This so we have sixty two people, but like people, people, and on the x axis we have this course. And here we have the student response. That means, for example, if I show you this one, which is 300 and yellow dot is there. So 300 people, 300 people have given the data who have scored in between 50, 50 to 60. That is what the entire graph shows. I'll give you one more example. The green dot over here, which is around 140. So 140, this, this 140 people have given us the data which shows that they have scored between 20 to 30. So this is how you can actually, you know, kind of understand your profile. And as you see, the entire data is concentrated in the range of 30, 40, 50. That is where data is concentrated. This is kind of reality in a way, because a lot of people are going the average uh, data set. Got it. So <clears throat> we also have this score, which you can see from 0, minus 4, 16, 27 and based on different slots you can keep on checking and this graph will definitely right, keep on changing. Okay. So now if I put in my details over here, I'll just give you an example. Let's say in 24 I had the slot for example I, my slot was 2. I clicked on that. Number of questions attempted in quant. Let's say I attempted a round, I'll give my exact data. I had attempted 16 questions. Okay, in VRC, I had attempted 1, 9, 19 questions. And LRDI, it was 16. Well, expect number of current questions in quant. So my expectation is close to 14. In VRC, I'm expecting it to be 14 again. And in LRI, it's again 14. Well, that's my expectation. So to target B school, I'm targeting Ahmedabad, let's say. Okay. So are you interested in GDPI courses? If you are, you can click on yes or no accordingly. And now if I submit this, so I log in through my phone number. Uh, okay, don't start calling me. <laughs> so okay, I'm doing that in front of you. So that is how you can put the phone numbers. Or maybe your Gmail ID, whatever you feel like. So, next. Now I receive an ODB here. Let me check in my phone. Yes. I received the ODB. It took me less than three seconds. And that is 6510. Verify. And then submit. Okay. So, according to them, my score is 95 percentile. Based on people, they have, you know, sent their scores. Slot 2, overall score is 96, ranked 219 among the people who have uh, mentioned over there. And score of top 1%. So, as you can see, in Quant, I would have received 98 percentile, VARC, 96.5 percentile at 34 marks, LREI, 992 percent overall. 
So this gives me enough idea about you know how I really perform. We do the same. Also, if you look at this, we have 24 slot analysis. You can watch it there. You can click to slot two. You will get the analysis of slot two on YouTube. And same with slot three. These things can be done. Also, we have a tool called SOP Reviewer, in which if you are drafting SOPs for any college, you just put it there, it will review you, uh, review your SOP. All right, so now, this most advanced CAD 24 answer sheet score calculator, let's go on that. So let's see what's going to happen. By the way, this so it's active, but uh, it will be useful only after getting a response sheet. So as you can see here, you have to go to the CAD official website, once logged in, click on candidate response, copy the link address, paste the link below, and rest everything done by our artificial intelligence uh, machinery. So once you submit that, you'll get the exact CAD score calculator and your, when you submit your, once you submit, you'll get the raw score. Once you click on submit, you'll get your raw score based on this calculator. So do not wait for anything. Go there and check your scores. And links to all these tools are in the description. Go check it out. Thank you.